Welcome to the Love 500 How To Series. This is uh, how to reset a flashing mileage on a Fiat 500. Uh, this is the same method on other Fiats as well, uh, and also other Italian cars like Alfa Romeos. Uh, you can either go to Fiat and be charged £120, which is their price for uh, an hour on their diagnostics. Uh, or you can buy the kit yourself, which is cheap, and do it yourself. And then that software and cables will allow you to do many, 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 many other things. You can adjust various settings on your ECUs. You can do things like turning off the seatbelt beep. Um, lots of things. But mainly for diagnostics, that's what it's meant for. Um, so what you need is a cable. You need an Elm 327 adapter and a set of cables. Now, for the Fiat 500, you only need a yellow cable or no cable, um, i.e. This, this part will plug into the diagnostic port without the yellow adapter. The yellow adapter is used for most of the ECUs, um, except for the engine one, I believe. I think the engine is the only one that so you don't need it for, and you plug it in directly. So you buy that cable. Um, it pays to buy a decent set of cables, not cheap ones from eBay. Here we have uh, an old Dell laptop, which cost me about 50 quid from eBay. Uh, I've had it quite a few years now. Keyboard doesn't work. Um, it's, it's a rubbish laptop, but it does the job. I keep it in my garage, so, um, you know, it's that's all it's used for. Um, so the software you use, I'm just replugging in the USB for the um, Elm cable, and then we'll boot up the software. So while that's doing that, we'll talk about why mileage is flash. I know a lot of people have got this problem with mileage. Uh, and more often than not, it seems to be the Bluetooth. The blue and me stops working. So all your, all your controls on your steering wheel don't work. Your Bluetooth control uh, for your phone doesn't work. Um, and in that instance, it, more often than not, it's the Bluetooth module has broken. If you look at my other videos, you can see how to change uh, a, a Bluetooth unit, the blue and me unit. Uh, that will be filed under a parasitic drain. Uh, that's the title. Of, I think that was on the, this car actually, uh, Fiat 500 Sport, uh, Parasitic Drain. That will show you how to access the Blue and Me unit and uh, how to change it. But in this video, all we're doing, I don't know why my keyboard keeps bleeping, my laptop keeps bleeping, but we won't worry about that at the moment. Um, so what causes a flash in mileage? So the, the engine ECU, sorry, the body computer, I should say, which is the one under there, under the um, parcel shelf, that's got fuses in it, so you might like to call it a fuse box. Uh, it's not actually a fuse box. What it is, although it has fuses in it, is a body computer. That communicates with all the other computers in the car. Um, if it loses communication with the computer, even if it reconnects, your mileage will flash. I have no idea why my laptop is making that noise. It's probably a key stuck down, even though the keyboard doesn't work. Um, uh, and so when your Blue and Me unit packs up, it's lost contact with it. So therefore it flashes the mileage. If you change an ECU, if you are repairing an accident damaged car and you change the airbag ECU, your mileage will flash. Sometimes if you change or upgrade your speedometer, the mileage will flash. Sometimes it will, sometimes it won't. So if you replace something, uh, the car thinks it's missing or knows that it's not the one that was originally in the car, so the mileage will flash. It's more of an annoyance, more than anything else. It doesn't stop anything from working. Um, however, it obviously needs to be done. Uh, it's not an MOT failure or anything like that. Sometimes, depending on what has caused the mileage to flash, if you disconnect your battery for 10 minutes, five, 10 minutes, reconnect it, it'll go away. And you're, especially if it's the blue and me, it will go away and, um, the mileage will stop flashing and the blue and me will start working again. That sometimes work. Uh, more often than not, there's something de deeper. So you can do diagnostics using this software, which is Multi ECU Scan. That's the website where you can download it from. Multi ECU Scan, Advanced Vehicle Diagnostic Software. Now this is for Italian cars, not just Fiat's. As you can see there, Fiat, Lancia, Chrysler, Dodge, Jeep, Suzuki, any of those cars. 
if you get the latest version, <clears throat> it will cover the Fiat 124 Sport. It will cover the uh, the Fiat 500, uh, sorry, the 500, the 500X. It will cover that. Um, I said the 124 Sport. I meant the 124 Spider. And then, as we're looking at the Fiat at the moment, you'll see that 500L, etc., etc., etc. So it covers all of these cars. You can. It's a very powerful bit of software. It is near dealer level software. It will do many, many things. But as I say today, we are going to be doing the proxy alignment. So if you look carefully at the screen there, we can see that we've already selected the Fiat 500 1.28 valve, which is what this car is. We've selected the body computer and the control module showing the body computer. And at the bottom there, you can see can set up slash proxy alignment procedure. So we're doing the proxy alignment. So highlight the proxy alignment. You then click on connect. The engine must not, the engine doesn't have to be running, but the ignition has to be switched on. And it takes a little time to think about it. So it's basically connecting to the body computer and it's checking to see if anything needs to be done. So convergence telematic mode has failed. It hasn't failed because we know that we've had a new one put in. So now what we do is we go onto the proxy alignment, we execute that, we then click on yes, and it does it. So it writes data to the body computer. So it connects to each module, the airbag ECU, the engine ECU, and so on, and then writes to it. When it's finished doing that, it will then tell you to uh, switch the ignition off and then you switch the ignition off. Well, we'll come to that in a second when it finishes. So at the moment, it's right into all the different modules. Sometimes, really, it goes through the process and it doesn't work. Um, and then you do it again and it does work. And I, there, there has been the odd instance where I've done it three or four times. Uh, and, and then it works. So that's completed. Right, so now it tells me to turn the key to off. So, there's the flashing mileage. We turn the key to off. We press Y to continue. And then we turn the ignition back on again. And the mileage should stop flashing. It has, there you go. So that's a proxy alignment. All done. Sometimes, as I say, sometimes it will do it and the mileage will still flash. Um, what sometimes happens then is that if if there was an error on whichever um, ECU had caused the problem, uh, that error might still be stored within that ECU. So if, for instance, if we go to, uh, let's say, the airbag ECU, and we do a connect to that, when you connect to any ECU, it will come up and tell you... Um, if there are any errors, if you click on the error tab. So that's currently connecting to the airbag ECU. And then we go up to errors. In this case, there's no fault codes. If there was a fault code there, which has just been stored, but the fault is, is no longer there. Um, normally they come up in black if it's an intermittent code. And you see there it's green, it says no fault codes. If, the, if it's there, it will say over here present but it will be in red. If it's an intermittent one, it will say intermittent and it will be in uh, in black type. Then you go, if there are errors, go down to F10, clear the errors, redo your proxy alignment, and then that will uh, most likely work. Um, so that's it for the proxy alignment. So as we were saying, multi-ECU scan is the software. You can get it from multi-ecuscan.net. I will put a link down in the details of this video. Um, as for the cables, you can buy cheap sets on eBay. Uh, what I would recommend doing is, uh, if you follow the links on the multi-ECU scan uh, website, you will see they have a list of preferred suppliers. I would recommend that you get a, a, a set from there. I've done the eBay ones, they're not all that. Um, you get the ones from the preferred supplier. They're good quality, they cost more. Um, I think they're probably about 30, 30 pounds, something like that. Uh, the software itself, believe it or not, uh, you can buy the latest version uh, for only 50 euros. 50 euros for the software and 30, 40 quid for a good set of cables is less than it would cost you for a um, 
an hour on Fiat's uh, diagnostics. So as you can see, it's well worth doing this. If you've got a Fiat 500 or any other Fiat or any other Italian car for that matter, if you ever get any problems, this software will more than likely, if they can't sort it out for you, it will tell you what, it, what the problems are. So I highly recommend getting that. So that's the end of this video. That's how to do a proxy alignment. Hope it's been uh, useful. Please, if you haven't, uh, if you are a casual viewer and you've just come across this because you've got a proxy alignment error, if you'd like to see other videos of various problems being solved and Fiat 500s being repaired, please uh, have a look at my other videos and I would uh, implore you to like, subscribe and share this video. Thanks for watching and uh, hope to see you again soon.